In my last video, I reviewed the iCreative. In this video, I'm going to go over the different settings, panels, and parameters found within the iCreative and how you can use it with Ableton Live. We're mainly going to be looking at the touch screen and all the different effects you have here, as well as at the end looking at the air effect and how you can use that in Ableton Live. To start, let's look at the piano. Now, whenever I touch this touch screen, it's going to send a note over into Live. So in this case, I arm this track, which I put a piano on it. Now, when I click this, we'll just play those different notes. And this bank setting here is actually your octaves. One cool thing you can do in Ableton Live is go over into your MIDI effects, drag in a different scale. So in this case, let's do a C minor, drag this in. Now, every note I play is going to be pushed within the C minor scale. So, that makes it really easy to just jam out and play live within a certain scale. Next, we'll be looking at the pad. The pad is mainly used as a drum pad and can be really great connected with Ableton Live to play live drums. So now I have these... Oh, just gotta set the right one. Now... I have these different drums set up and I have two banks. So that was the first one and then the second one. I can go in between these really quick and easy. Next, after that, we have the control. The control is a great way to connect, to control the volume. So as I go up and down, you'll see it moves that in Ableton Live. So as an example, let's just play this little clip here. See when I move it up, it does the volume. Next, we'll look at the next panel, which is the XY. In XY, you can set to any parameter. And in this case, I did it to this grain delay. And now, it creates that cool effect. And there are multiple different banks on this one. There's up to these eight different banks. All right, let's stop that clip. And next, we're going to look at the arpeggiator. Here, each one of these represents a different arpeggiation pattern that's been made in MIDI on the iCreative. So now when I click it, you'll see that it just plays that arpeggiation pattern. Just stop by clicking it again. Now, an interesting thing about the arpeggiator is it's playing MIDI out into your laptop, so it actually is doing it within its own tempo. So you can change the tempo by coming over here and clicking this. You'll see the light turn on. You can turn it up or down. And I'll remember what tempos you were at for those different banks. So the last one we're going to look out of these panels is the clip. Now the clip you can set to anything you want. Same thing as before, you have two different banks of this. So in this case, I'm going to go over to MIDI, set that one, set this clip. And now, that just starts the clip. Let's set this one just as a stop. Now with just these parameters, you have tons of different things you can do, all sorts of different effects, controls, you can do the volume, piano, and so on. And then the last feature we're going to look at is the air effect. The air effect is a really fun, cool thing. I showed it in the review before, but now I'm going to show you how you use it in Ableton Live. So now let's go start this clip. And what I did on the master track have these two different auto filters and I can go to the first one which I said is the first air effect now 
really smooth and easy way to create this effect. I can go to the second one and do a high pass. And you can have 10 of these, so you can do a delay, a, um, a reverb, all sorts of different things, like a dry wet type of a thing. And it just opens up whole new worlds in your live set. And lastly, you just have that master fader and these four knobs, which you can use for any other effect. Uh, this could be your master volume or an AP or whatever you'd want. So the iCreative gives you tons of different potential within your live set or your production. That's a whole new layer and is really fun to just play with, super intuitive and easy to work with Ableton. Now this live set that I've created to show off the iCreative, I'm just going to put on my website, subaqueousmusic.com, where you can download it for free. And it's set already for the presets on the iCreative, so you can just get an iCreative, download the set, and play around with all these different parameters I've shown you. So hopefully this was a very helpful if you already have the iCreative or show you the potential if you don't have one yet.